Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Now in the last episode we managed to capture, uh, no we managed to defend it as in a castle, sorry we didn't capture it, we captured that before. Um, so we managed to defend it, we've defended our lands and we've taken down a lot of parties. Now we got attacked a lot of times uh, in the last episode, um, but we managed to take down a lot of them and take a lot of prisoners as well. And we've got our numbers built back up to quite a fair amount and we've also built up the garrison at Urzana Castle. Um, so what we're going to try and do today is we're going to really try and push forward. We're going to attempt to take Odok. We should be able to do it. We nearly took it before. Um, and this time we're going to be a lot more successful. We are going to capture it, fully capture it. We're going to build up its defense and then hopefully if things go well as they're planned, um, we'll be able to take Samira as well. But we'll have to see what happens. Um, obviously we've got to take into account their forces might build back up quite quickly. Um, but that is the goal, that is the plan. Let's see if we can take two lag out as he's running around here. He's gone into a little bit of a corner here, so he shouldn't be able to escape from me. Uh, should be able to grab him here. He's not really got anywhere to go. There we go. Perfect, look at that. So we can bring him down as well. Uh, we will probably just send troops for this one. Get over nice and quick. We've lost two men. Probably better than what I would have lost. And there we go. And we'll take him prisoner as well. Don't need to take any of his men. And we've got a few upgrades there as well, which is going to help out with the siege we're about to do. Now, he's just picked up the recruits, so I know I can't get any more men. But we are quite good on numbers, so I'm going to just go with what we have. And uh, take the risk, I think. But we should be okay. Should be able to manage. I think a lot of our prisoners have escaped again, but it is what it is. You know, we just have to um, go as quick as we can before they build back up like Tulag was doing just there now. Uh, we've got his Lena and Alder in the local area, which means Farcreed must be down the other end. He's going to Tepez. They might run off that way, but that means that their army is on the other side. So we should be able to take Odok with uh, very little resistance. They're going to continue besieging it, so we shouldn't see much of a resistance down this end. Hopefully, maybe a couple of parties. They might have an army up, but I can't imagine it will be anything that we can't handle. Um, so I'm quite confident. Now they've got all their ballistas up. They might replace them with catapults. We'll see. But what we're going to do is this time, because we've got time, we know we have time, we're going to build a little bit of siege equipment. Uh, probably get a siege tower. And if we can, maybe get a couple of catapults. Not too many. Also, this is just going to build up our engineering skill as well, which would be nice. If anyone does turn up, we can just um, go straight into the assault. And uh, while we're waiting anyway, we can recruit some men as well. Get a few upgrades. Not too many, but you know, every single one helps. Contributes massively. So the siege camp is up and ready. So if we do see an army on the horizon, um, we can always just march in. Go on the assault and hopefully take it. 261. Really, it shouldn't be anything that we can't handle. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure we've taken on worse before. Obviously, the garrison is fairly strong. A few prisoners are escaping there. 29, 29 tribal warriors, that's quite decent. We've got a battering ram up, we should have our siege tower up any moment. Obviously they've only got their ballista still, they didn't replace them with catapults, which is very good for us. Still going to get a few kills between them, but nowhere near as bad as the catapults. I find the catapults that mainly um, wound your men, they mainly knock them out, whereas the ballistas fully kill them. Um, so I don't know, but it just means that we can do it in one instead of having to retreat and then try and assault again. But as soon as this is done, we're going to move it to reserve. We don't actually want it to take out any of the equipment. Uh, we want it in the siege battle itself. Uh, definitely, I want some more infantry because we've got some siege equipment to push. So I want to make sure I've got some good infantry to push them. It might, oh, I can't. Uh, I might see if we can get a trebuchet up as well then, if we've got time. Varric has been captured by Tepez. Damn it, they actually took Tepez. Right, that means they're going to be on their way. So we're going to build this catapult and then uh, we're going to the siege. Because it looks like we're going to have to go back and try and retake Tepez. And the army is here, so that was perfect timing. Not that that would be much of a threat, but still an army. Right, let's lead the assault. We've got our siege engines for everything we need. Let's take Odok and then we're going to have to try and retake Tepez Castle, unfortunately. Um, yeah, they really did want that place. They've been trying for a long time. Probably should have built up the garrison. Um, a while ago, but it's fine. That's the first place they've taken in a while, and we're about to take one of their towns, so I'm not too concerned. Um, we'll build up the garrison in this place, and then we'll take Samira, and then we'll um, work our way around to Tepez. 
Uh, but we'll definitely need to save Varric as soon as possible. So which side are we going to have the Siege Tower? We're going to have it on the right hand side. So what I want to do is have both my catapults on the left. That just means that I'm not going to be hitting my own Siege Tower. Because I have had it before uh, where my men have destroyed my own Siege Tower. That might even have been in this playthrough. I'm not sure. I can't remember, honestly. Um, but it does happen. And it's ridiculous. So I don't want formations on the siege equipment. I just want a couple of men to push them. If we have formations on them, they'll just get absolutely ruined by the archers. Uh, I do want one formation. Probably the cavalry I want on the siege tower. So they can deal with that. Archers. Uh, we need one group of archers to remain behind. What am I doing? I want you guys, Toggle, going to join the range there. You guys are going to sit back. I just want two units of archers to now scatter. So what they'll do is they'll use the siege engines and um, just take up little positions around the barricades and start hitting the enemy from those positions. But mainly it means that they're going to be using the siege engines, which is what I want them to do. And I want them to kind of cover it as much as possible. Infantry, you're going to be coming. You're just going to sit back. And you're going to hold a shield wall. You're just going to sit back, stay quiet. And until I want you to push forward with the battering ram. Who are they? My bowmen. They're number five. Uh, you guys can join the cavalry. Give that one a little bit of a boost. Infantry, like I said, they're staying there. Hopefully they'll just put their men straight onto that position. We've got our archers there and our archers down there. So they'll take up the catapults. Hopefully do a bit of damage. Um, yeah, we're going to lose a few men. But hopefully the siege equipment is going to make this... Hopefully going to make this easier. Although we might actually lose more men due to having siege equipment. But I really hope that's not the case. I just feel like... It's, yeah, there we go. A few shots off. To get a few men right. I'm going to bring my archers straight down and then we're going to start picking off the men on the wall while our siege tower moves up. Yeah, luckily because they're quite small groups of archers they should stick behind the uh, bigger barricades at the back and not go too far forward. Because if they go too far forward that's when they'll start getting killed. Uh, that ballista is going to be a threat but if we get our archers in a good enough position shouldn't have to worry about it too much. I haven't got any kills yet. Probably targeting the siege towers mainly, I imagine. Let's just hope he doesn't target me because that is a one shot. I don't think my shield can block that. Fortunately, where are my archers? Oh, not good. Be a bit more patient. Let's sit in the shade. Those arrows can't hurt me. My archers really aren't pushing forward. It's because they're in a shield wall. Come on, boys. I need you down here. Oh, there you go. Arrows, get moving. Face that way. Come on, boys. I need you to hurry up. Seriously, it's ridiculous. That blister is targeting my archers. Luckily, he's not a very good shot. Where's that going? That's close. Catapult is targeting the complete wrong section of the wall. Should be targeting the left hand side and he's targeting all the way over here. Yeah, we're losing a handful of men to their archers but that's mostly due to the uh, formations themselves. That ballista is really annoying me. It's killing a few more men there. Let's really get them out of the way. Once the siege tower's up anyway, we can um, push our men forward. I don't know if he's going to have the angle. I hope he doesn't. Nah, it doesn't look like he does. Alright, awesome. Our archers can fire away. Unfortunately, our archers can't get any um, really decent angles on the enemy. But I can now do... Uh, battering rams nearly made it to the wall. Obviously, we've got ladders on the left side, so our men are going to be pushing them. Um, putting them up. Which isn't the best thing in the world. Cavalry. Shouldn't have done that. Cavalry, if we just get you here and then in shield wall. Actually, no, sorry. Loose first and then shield wall when you get here. You. Oh, you're putting the ramp down. 
That's fine. I'm not sure who's taking this fire. Catapult's still firing at this um, siege engine. Here we go. Now marchers can start getting a few hits as the enemy tries to push forward towards me. I'm hoping anyway. Might be worth putting them somewhere where they can get just a little bit of a better angle. Yeah, that should hopefully work a bit better. I really want to take that guy out. There we go. Come on, archers. I need you to... There we go. There we go. The enemy's being very cautious. They're not pushing towards me. I really want to start bringing my cavalry up here, but I'm just... A little bit concerned. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, boys. There's my arrow fire. There we go. A few more of them coming. Let's get those arrows flying. Climb this ladder. All right. Let's try to follow. See if they'll come up now. Oh. Nice, nice. They are not moving. They do not want to move at all. This is frustrating. There we go. Now they're starting to climb. Just end up hitting my own sea star. It's ridiculous. Ladders are definitely better. Alright, there we go. Starting to get on the wall. Let's just secure the wall. All I want is to secure this section of wall. Oh, there's always an archer. And he always does stupid. He does more damage than the infantry. Absolute prick. Come on. Piss off. Thank God for that. Cavalry, follow me. Don't run off. 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 Archers, get on this wall. All right, well, you can still fight them. Jesus. Absolute idiots. They're just walking away, getting hit in the back. set up my formations either which is a little bit annoying but I want this cavalry to hold a shield wall oh. oh my god I'm gonna die I am going to die 100% oh come on man he's just it's a malicious spearman and he just I hate sieges I really hate them and nobody's coming up the ladders either. There we go. Right, cavalry charge. Start pushing forward. Do something. Infantry. There we go. Start pushing forward. Start killing those archers. Do something. 
Oh. Is that one of mine? Jesus. Look, nobody's climbing up the siege tower. These things are so broken. It's not even funny. Form on me. Stop pushing too far forward. Oh, I can't risk it. If I get flicked, I'm dead. We've cleared out those archers that would be in a pain. Okay, now charge again. There's a few of you are getting killed. And this is just silly. Kill those archers. Where are my men? Yeah, a few more archers up here as well, which is good. Although we're losing so many men. Alright, cavalry, follow again. Stop pushing too far forward because you don't know what you're doing. Just stay on me. Keep over here. How many is left of them anyway? 18. <sighs> what? What? There isn't even anybody around. Who the hell was that? Well, that sounds about right. And of course, they're all climbing down from the wall. Let me guess. So are they all climbing up the ladders now? Or are they going to be? Makes sense, I guess. I just, I hate the logic. We were on the wall, we secured the wall, and now we're retreating from the wall. Even though we were winning. And now they can't climb down the ladders either. Are you going up or down? Oh, I just. And now they're all getting killed. I just can't watch. And there's like seven of them at the main gate. And they're all going to get killed if they're outnumbered. Oh, I hate sieges. I really hate sieges. It's just so dumb. I've lost 20 men already. Probably going to lose what? Oh, God. God only knows. Speed up! I can't. I just can't watch. Christ! I want to know who killed me. That was some stealthy bollocks there. This is why I just use ladders. Honestly, there's less fuss. the best thing to do once you once you've got the numbers the best thing to do is just to go through the main gates and uh, not even attempt to climb up the walls just literally go through the gates actually i'll take all those prisoners because we're in a town i can sell them and then we're going to build up the crap out of this garrison because i'm not taking this place again uh show mercy beautiful tavern mercenary horseman uh sell i don't want to sell everybody let's just sell from here Click a bunch of times. Batanian eyes oh, militia. That's a shame. And so yeah, sell the militias. Don't need them. And up to two lag. Perfect. Three point one thousand. Expected more. Couple of nomads. Not too much. Managed garrison. Yeah, they're not leveling up when I recruit them anymore, which is not good. All right, let's put all of our same tactic as always. Any Cusates, any mercenary footmen, they can all go in. I think that's everything. Not bad garrison, actually. It's already looking quite good, 49. 
Security is going down immensely, but it's not looking too bad. Uh, boost the reserves. Beautiful. We've got a nice queue going as well. Fairgrounds. Fairgrounds level 3. Perfect. Right, we'll just wait it out and see what the army does. Hopefully they'll just run away. Or the sieges. That's fine too, because we can win pretty easily against them. Engineering is now 75. Thank God. Uh, ranged troops have 50% more ammunition when besieging. 50% increased build speed for castle projects. Nice. Rams and siege towers have 33% more hit points. And 25% build speed for town projects. Now we've got 50% and 50% uh, more ammunition as well. Because our siege towers and rams don't usually get broken. And if they do, it's by our own forces. And when that happens, there's not really a lot you can do about it. Because the men just seem to like to target your own equipment. The men are more self-destructive than anything else in this game, honestly. They just... They'd rather see you fail. Uh, Alda's been taken prisoner. By Normand. Who the hell is Normand? He's not Cusate, I don't think. I don't know. I wonder if they are going to come into the siege or not. Let's see. Can we create anyone? Nope. How are we doing on companions? 8 out of 8. Nice. Still need to increase the um, family and get a wife at some point. And for my brother as well. Just to kind of boost how many companions we have. Which would be good. But we'll do that once the Khanate's been dealt with and we've created a kingdom. Yeah, I was going to say if I stop waiting nothing's going to happen. I was going to see if I can get some more troops but unfortunately not. Uh, heavy Lancer, yep. Take you... 273. I'd, honestly, I'd be surprised if they um, straight up assault. And I really hope they don't build trebuchets because, again, for some reason we've built ballistas. Farag has escaped from Baltic hands. That's fine. I, yeah, my guys have been um, capturing quite a lot of them, I realised. Actually, we've got Battering Ram and Siege Tower. It's just going against them, really. I don't know what the problem with the siege towers is. I don't know if it's just the f path finding or I just I don't know. But they just don't seem to climb up it properly. And then as soon as you go down, even if your men are on the wall, even if you have a full formation on that wall, they just seem to leave. They just run away, and they're not even retreating. They just decide to then move to a different lane. It just it does not make sense. I don't understand the logic behind it. But hopefully that will be fixed. In there, um, hopefully, in the next major update. Sieges would just be so much nicer and so much better to do. I'd much rather take my time with a siege if it works properly. But it's just knowing that you spend all this time to build up the equipment and then it doesn't actually work. Our garrison's going down. Oh, bollocks. We have no food. How many men have I lost? I was not paying attention. Wait, no, I have food. I shouldn't be losing anyone. But the garrison's going down. The garrison's dying. Which is so frustrating because I just put men in that bloody garrison. Why can't I share my food with the... With the garrison? Where's the logic there? Oh, we're going to have to replace the garrison. Oh, There's only 30 men, I guess. Not too much. But then again, I swear. Attack the enemy. You know, besiege one of their places. And they have zero food. Their numbers don't start going down. Okay, we might just have to sally out. Because uh, it's not looking like... Yeah, she's just arrived. So maybe it might be best. Although she won't join us, will she? I don't think... I need to go and save Erzna Castle, that's the problem. Because they will take that, and I do not want to lose somewhere like last time. So we're going to sally out, I think. And it's Lena's going to join us. Perfect. Yep, we'll sally out and attack. We'll break them here, and then hopefully we can go and relieve the siege at Erzna. Because I really, really, really don't want to lose that. Now that I've taken Odok, because we're just going to be going in a circle. As soon as we take somewhere, we lose somewhere. 
And we've lost Tepez, which is even more annoying. But we will get it back. We will take it back. Weird colour to this map, isn't it? Beautiful infantry is looking strong. Is that my recruit formation? Two men. Beautiful. You guys can just run away. Uh, infantry is then you want to dismount. Just take a shield ball formation. We've got enough men there. Yeah, her forces are looking way better than they were before. She's got some properly good men now. I've got full health, so I can charge against the cavalry. How many have they got? 77. Not bad. We've got 38 of our own cavalry, so if we just... Ah, oh, that's too eager. They're going to run away. Oh, yeah, no, they're running away. Or aren't they? No, they're not. Come on, boys. Charge. Chase them down. Let's just kill a whole load of them. What I will give praise to is them um, with the tribal warriors, is they do not fall back at all. You can kill so many out of their formation and they will not retreat. They've got fantastic morale for such a low tier troop. I think the same is quite this is quite similar with most of the cavalry, but yeah, they're such low tier troops, these guys really do hold their own. They won't quit out on you. Because so I think the way the um, the morale works by the more men you kill in a single formation, is the quicker that formation will break. So obviously, when we go ahead and we kill eighty of them out of a hundred before they've even got a single kill, they should break, but they don't. Right, follow me. We're getting way too close. We've killed a whole bunch of them, I'm happy with that. Let's just get out of it. Look at the trail of horses. <laughs> the trail of all the men that I've killed. I love it. You following me? 35. Beautiful. Let them come back. And let's charge straight back into them. Let's get you into a charge again. Yep. Took a hit that time, not good. Took another hit, wow that hurt a lot more. That hurt a hell of a lot more. Never ride into them by the way, it's something I shouldn't have done just then. Because um, once you get too close they start to get their melee weapons out and if you charge back, if you spin around and start charging into their formations, you usually get a very nasty hit from one of those spears. And they do do a lot of damage sometimes. Alright, let's pull back, let's get out of here. Again, we've killed a lot of them there. 11 of them left. Beautiful. Formations are still holding, so let's start moving up our infantry here. Archers on the hill, horse archers. Just pop you there, doesn't really matter, we can sort them out once they get here. Are they charging? Are they moving? What are they doing? Horse archers are on their way back. I'm going to use this shield, my shield this time. Hopefully, my cavalry can deal with a lot of them. The enemy infantry is on the move, I think. No, they're not. It just looks like they're getting closer. Uh, cavalry charge. Four archers are here too. You can see they're firing away. Let's just try and kill a couple more if we can. Not get killed. Beautiful. If I target their horses, bring them down. Oh, wow. Where's that come from? Alright, cavalry on me. Let him go, let him go. Nice. Alright, let's pull back to the formations. Infantry needs to go into the line. That's the wrong one. You carry on doing what you're doing. Infantry needs to be in the line because they're way too slow. Luckily the enemy isn't charging, but had they been, um, they probably would have got here at the same time as my infantry, which would not have been good. So there's three horse archers left. Let's just see if we can get them down. Or at least that one over there anyway. I think he's retreating now. There's a lot of arrows going towards him, so I don't blame him. Yeah, I think he's on the way out. And now I assume the enemy should start moving in a moment. But if not, I understand that too. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to move our infantry up to about there and then our archers about here. And we're going to take our horse archers and we're going to get them on us to follow us with all our cavalry. And then we're going to try and move around to the enemy flanks. See if we can take out some more of their cavalry and just generally try and harass their formations. Once the infantry is in place, which I think they are, and we get them into a shield wall. We'll just gradually push up, prod the enemy as much as possible, get our horse archers into position, see if we can drop some of their horses there. Um, cavalry, if you just hold back for a moment, let the horse archers do their job. Try and pick them off. If anything, hopefully they should be able to kill some of the horses. We can keep an eye on the enemy foot formation, see if they're moving at all yet. Luckily we can just about see the enemy horses here, so hopefully we can drop a couple of them. I don't want to charge in my cavalry because I'm quite low health, especially going against cavalry. Usually a good hit from them and that's it. But um, hopefully, yeah, no, they're still holding. They're holding very defensively. There's two recruits all the way down at the end there, they're just watching. There we go. Taking down a few of their horses. This is what these guys are for. If they run out of ammo, it's still perfect cavalry, so it doesn't really matter either way. But if they can kill the cavalry at the um, the enemy flanks, it's perfect for us. Okay, we're kind of we're kind of losing vision on them a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Here they come. There's another one dead there. I'll see if I can lure them towards me. Possibly, might be able to. Enemy's definitely on the move. This guy is doing something. Not anymore, because he's bloody dead. Oh, what a shot. Ah, oh, nice. I think that's all of them dead, isn't it? Wiped them out there at the last second. So that's one of the cavalry formations done. Obviously, we've still got the enemy. Uh, the enemy infantry is holding. Potentially even charging. I think they're charging. Right, horse archers, let's get you back. Damn, I still took a shot. And then cavalry charge. Horse archers, if you form up here, and you can start picking off some of the cavalry if possible. Where's my cavalry going? I did tell you to charge, didn't I? Did I? I can't remember. Let's do it again, make sure. Yes. I'm getting really scared now. I think I'm going to get downed in a second. Enemy is charging towards my um, infantry, so let's just make sure they're in a shield wall quick. They might already be, but it just doesn't hurt to press it twice. And horse archers go ahead and charge, start picking them off. I think we've dealt with their cavalry. So now, hopefully, we've killed enough of them, we can head towards their foot formations. I think we've taken down their cavalry quite nicely. That was close. And uh, we've just lost our companion there as well, but again, I don't think he had any majorly good skills, so I'm not too fussed about that. As long as we don't lose... Uh, that's why I'm taking only the bad, um, not bad, but not the great companions with me, because I don't mind if they go down. Keep everyone else as important as a party leader or a governor, and we won't see them die. But I think we've cleared them out there, we've taken minimal casualties and we've wiped out the army. So hopefully now we can go and push towards Urzna Castle and relieve the siege there. But this is another three leaders that we can potentially capture, so that's brilliant. Just can't find where they are, is there anyone over there? No, we're good. That's the lot. So we lost four men. Yep, Vorad died unfortunately. The garrison is intact, we lost two out of our own party. One of them being a companion, so we only lost one man. And Alda lost. No, Islena lost too. Perfect. And obviously we've got those three guys. So before we run off to Erzina, we're just going to see if we can put a few more men in the garrison. Uh, just in case anyone does decide to loop around us somehow and uh, besiege it. At least they can stand a little bit of a chance. But I'm really hoping what Islena will do is just come with me straight away um, down there. Um, and yet we can go ahead and sell a bunch of our prisoners again, make some more money. Not a whole lot, but it all helps. So we'll jump straight in. Put them in the garrison. Tavern. Mercenary guards. Nice. 
And we got to sell the prisoners too. Choose which to sell. We're not going to be putting anyone in the uh, dungeon because we have absolutely zero security. Perfect. Sell them off. Zero food, zero security, but we're going to drop off the men into the garrison. Just dropped off a horse archer, didn't I? Yeah, let's take him back. Um, perfect. So we need to go and relieve the siege of Erzna. Hopefully we can do that quite easily. Just sell some stuff here, quick. Okay, lovely. And probably time I buy some more food. Some hogs, perfect. 30 grand from that. And obviously we've got his Lena in the area as well. So let's just head down, grab some more men, and then... Oh, bollocks. They've... Oh no, they're coming to Odok. Okay. We got a siege underway, they're gonna be coming here. Yep, yeah, there they are. Okay. Um so we need to make sure that we protect this place. Oh we've got no food. No, we do have a little bit of food. Okay, so they might be able to last. I'm not putting any more men in the garrison because of the food situation. It's going down 48. Okay, yeah. We might lose some more men out of the garrison. Now, if Islena and Farcreed both turn up, we are going to head into a field battle against them. But Farcreed is on over there, so we just need to wait for him. If he does show up, then we will go for it. Um, with his force as well, we should definitely have enough. Hazel. They're buying their men back. I'm not a fan of that. Come on, Farcreed. Where are you at? Farrakh has been released. I can't... Can I assign him as a governor here? Oh, I can. Uh, loyalty is positive. Varric's going to bring it down. Could assign him here as governor. I did want him as a governor as a town, so that's probably... Oh, look at that. Ah, no. That's because I clicked on something else. Idiot. No, nope, still going down massively. But uh, he might be able to help. It builds up his engineering as well. Oh, he's turned up, but he's lost a lot of men. What's going on there? Why has he lost so many? Uh, right, that's all done. Pause for a moment. Should have been checking this really. Garrison's still roughly the same number. So if we sally out. Yeah, he's got enough men. Got some villagers as well. So if we sally out. Should have everyone. Villagers. Bastards. They didn't decide to join us. Karakurgit. Okay, so we've got to watch out for them. And then everyone else looks pretty weak to be fair. So we should be fine. And then we can go and save Denara. But Erzna Castle is safe. So we don't have to worry about that. And once we've taken out this army as well, we should have enough of them captivated that we can... Captivated? Um, Enslaved and captured. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm struggling. Um, to go and take Sumira anyway. That's the point I was trying to get to. Wow, it's dark. Maybe I should have waited. Probably should have waited just a little bit longer. Look, man! Get moving! Make a shield Why did nobody bring a torch? Bastards. So we've got a hill there, which isn't going to work to our favour. If we keep our archers over here, horse archers behind. Infantry's already in their shield wall. We just push them forward a little bit more. Perfect. Keep cavalry with me. 143, they do have a lot of horse archers. Very few cavalry there, so once we've dealt with the horse archers, there's not really much of a threat left. But make sure that we do deal with them. Hopefully our archers will absolutely demolish them. Because they do seem to be coming right towards us. So if you guys can just start firing straight away, that would be perfect. Nah, they're pulling back already. They're not getting too close. Oh, seriously? Oh wait, he's right here, what the hell? Nice. 
That was weird, though. Ah, oh, that's because that's why we didn't get any kills because you are changing your formation again. Why do they keep doing this? Okay, the enemy is actually charging towards us, which makes this a little bit more interesting. Horse archers are back already. There we go. Oh my god, look at them pouring over the hill. That's the enemy infantry formation right there as well. Okay, infantry, let's move you forward a little bit more because that infantry is on its way a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Cavalry, let's get you down this side so you don't block my archers when I send you into a charge. Keep firing, keep firing, just keep bloody firing. Keep bringing them down. Let's get over there. Infantry, I just remember dismount. That's it, keep firing. Cavalry charge. Infantry hold. Keep firing, boys. Keep firing. Oh. Beautiful. 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 Right, it's time to send the horse archers out. Go on, boys. Start tearing them up. Beautiful. Archers, stop doing that. Giving you information to hold, stay in it. These are the Karakurgits, aren't they? They always hold their positions. Once they. Oh, wait, that's not. Order. You know the thing about the Karakurgits is they always use it to um, hold their formation. So once they get dismounted, they seem to bunch up together and come like this infantry formation as well. They're really potent troops. Nice. <laughs> what the hell was that? Doing a cartwheel. Right, infantry, if you can, get some kills. Archers, do the same. You can charge. They can fire on the go. But we've mostly wiped them out. don't think there's any of them left now. Took very few losses. Just pray that we've captured them all, I think. But there we go, victory. 11 of them left. Half of the loot, too bloody right. Garrison again remains intact. Militia intact. We lost four men. Legionary, veteran archer, horseman, fine. Oh, barely any losses to be honest. And his Lena lost five. So we're doing absolutely fine. Nobody died. Perfect. There we go. So yeah, we've captured like, all of them, I think, which is perfect. I only got one of them. It's fine. They're, I think the only problem with that is they're going to drop them into the dungeon here at Odok. Um, but if they do that, I can just take them back out. So that's no worries either way. But there we go, beautiful. And then we're going to sell off our prisoners again. And um, we should be fine. Well, I say fine. We're not going to go and attack Samira. We're just going to keep building up the garrison. Um, I'm not going to make the mistake of just being too eager. And uh, yeah, just ruining it for myself. Losing this place and having to take it back. So we will just take it slow. Build it back up. Make sure we get enough food in the... Um, in stock as well, because that is going to be a problem. Well, it already is a problem. It's going to become a bigger problem if we don't deal with it. So let's try and protect our villages massively. Let's go ahead and just sell all of you guys. Puppeteer. Oh, they've got those guys working with them. I hate them. They're not very potent, but they're annoying. They throw their knives. Pizel. You know we're at war, surrender or die. Don't care. We lost three men. Perfect. And we've taken him out. So there we go. Uh, I will let you go because I need to build up my relationship. Even if it's just slightly, um, that does it for me perfectly. So next time I capture one of those guys, I'll just take him. But that's that with the clan, so that's perfect. 
grab some recruits from there. Hopefully we can get a training camp built up fairly soon and we can um, sort that out. If we just head into the keep, head into the dungeon, and I'm going to take all of these guys out because I want them to go somewhere that actually has security rather than here. Uh, got a whole load of upgrades. Now I'm a bit curious if we just take the nomads out of this place, run around them with them, because I know a lot of them in that battle got upgrades, so I don't know if they automatically get appointed or if I need to do that. So I'm just going to quickly wait here for a sec, go back, go into party. No, nope. doesn't seem to have made a difference. Might have to wait a little bit longer, I'm not sure, but um, I don't need to. I'm just going to go pick up some more. Once we've built the training camp, it should do it automatically anyway. Uh, tavern, watchman, no more recruits. Food, we've got some food in there, nice. Kojirin's army, we can wipe her out quick together. That's it, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tillun and Dilla have both escaped, that's fine. You know, reward, right, yep, blah, blah, blah. Uh, send troops. Two men. And some more recruits. Perfect. Keep building up our Buchelari. I'll probably drop these guys off at Odrissa Castle. I think that's still got very good security, so I might go and drop them down there quick. Just know they are somewhere safe, but before I do that, I just want to make sure the garrison has a big enough number. So I'll drop off all those militias that I just took, and uh, all these guys, and then we should be fine. So it's currently at 79. Yeah, I mean, we don't need too many more in there, just enough. Them, 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 and you. So now it's over 100. Let's talk to this guy, see if he's got anything going on. He's got a lovely cape. Uh, nope, absolutely nothing we can do with him. What the hell? Curious. Yeah, if we head down to Adrissa, who was that? Yeah, he's only got 49 men. I don't think he should be able to take anything. Uh, yeah, so annoying that we lost Tepez, honestly. We've held that for so long. But we've managed to gain three more places um, while losing one. Osteros the Silent. Got a bunch of looters. Once we get the um, leadership ability to recruit bandits, I'll probably just go around, take all the looters and convert them. So that's why I don't mind stashing them in garrisons. If we just drop all of you guys off. Now it is better to drop them off in a town that has high security, but it's just a little bit too far for me to go in order to do that. So we won't recruit troops. Beautiful, we've got some good men from there. Head down to Kyra, see if we can get some from there. And then our next move will be to take Samira. And then once we've secured the northern border, we've got three hideouts to take out there annoyingly. Once we've secured that northern side, then we can just start pushing in one direction and everyone should be roughly together in order to do that. Lovely, getting some good, really good Imperial recruits from there, honestly. Fantastic recruits from that place. Every time. What's this? We've got two skill points. We've got Far Creed and Alder. Stewardship. Uh, drill Sergeant does everyone, so we'll do that. Alder, you've got a roguery point. What's this? Bandit units in your party gain XP 20% faster. Faster raiding. Bandits are 20% easier. No, it will go for. Uh, no risk for the wicked. If she was a governor, I'd give her the um, prisoner's one, but she's not. And that being said, we need to reappoint her to a party. And she's at Makeb, it's not the safest place in the world, but she should be fine. If we just head to Erzner, see if we can pick up some more men. Uh, there you go, Varric's now picking up charm points because he's the leader of that village, which is exactly what we wanted him to do. It's perfect. Right, we'll go off and drop these. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. I just want to kill them looters first. It's quite a big band. Get that out of the way, just in case. If that does connect with any of my villagers, could turn into a problem. Just take them prisoner. Should be fine. Yeah, we've got the space for it. Lovely. Carry on moving. Ashku has escaped. Oh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're all going to escape. I don't mind. We have got a lot of them prisoner at the moment, so that's why I don't want to wait too long for besieging Samira, but, you know, long enough that we give it a nice rest. Mercenary cavalry, perfect. Now, loyalty is horrifically low. 
So I wonder if there's anything we can do to solve that before it becomes too much of a problem. What is affecting it? Fairgrounds is going up. Settlement issues is 0.2. So if we go into Managed Town, it's already doing festival and games, so that's not helping me at all. Uh, security, 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 security. As security goes up, that should help that. It's currently, yeah, security's bringing it down. So we need security to go up a lot quicker. Uh, we can put some more men in the garrison. Security is going up, so the loyalty should fix itself. We've just got to pray we don't suffer a rebellion. Um, but it is looking, it is likely at the moment. There is a risk of it, so let's just be careful. We'll just hang around the area, make sure nothing bad happens. Obviously, we're just given a huge garrison, so the last thing I want to do is have them turn against me. Um, settlement issues, so we could see if we can do this. Army of poachers, please go on. Uh, do you need help with the problem? You hate me, so that's not going to happen. Bugger. No tournaments, I can't even do that either. All right, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, so we've managed to, basically, we just took Odok, defended it. Um, but we've now built up its garrison, unlike last time, which we left it very well undefended. And we have now got a strong enough defense to protect it. So what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to take Samira Castle first, build up the garrison like we do. And now we will have connected our kingdom side to side through the top. And then we will push. Um, we'll probably take a Kaiser Castle next. We'll probably do. So we'll take Samira and then we'll come around to a Kaiser and um, just expand this area. And then we'll take Hakun, so they will be completely connected. Once we've taken that and we've pushed them just to the riverside, um, we'll go back and retake Tepez. I think that will be um, the move before we come through down here. But then once we've taken um, these three, it is simply just Yuzek and Chaikan left. So not too much of a problem. But I do need to take Tepez back, obviously, but we'll do that later on. Luckily, it's only a castle, so it's not too bad. Um, not too bad at all. And then once we've done that, once we've secured it, we can create our kingdom. And then we can go through everywhere and just make sure everything is managed. Everywhere's got a garrison. And then we can focus on the next war, which will definitely be with the uh, Northern Empire here, which are doing incredibly well at the moment. They've pushed the Azerai back massively, but they are doing really, really well. So they're going to be a big threat. It's going to be an interesting war, and it's, we're going to take some major losses against them. But luckily, hopefully, anyway, we can pick up some mercenary clans before then. Hopefully pick up a few lords, although we don't have any friends. Um, but we should be okay. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions, comments, tips, anything like that, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. But make sure to go ahead and join me on Discord as well. You can just uh, message me there. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Just supports the channel out, and uh, you can keep up to date with all the content I've got coming out. I'm going to be trying to work on a lot more how-to guides. Um, if you've got any ideas, if you think there's anything you want to learn or find out about, um, anything I've not covered already, make sure to let me know and I'll get a video on that as well. Um, I'm trying to cover as many points as possible. I think I'm working on formations at the moment, so we'll be doing that. Um, but yeah, just let me know if there's anything you do want to see. If um, there's any games you want to see playthroughs on, please let me know that as well. It's always good to get more ideas of other things that I can put on the channel. So please let me know that, guys. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Have a really